how things played out versus your expectations? Still not feeling real. Still feels like a movie, man. You know, just met Dana White. Crazy. Um, got to hang out with her. Like, just, I feel awesome, man. You know, I went in, went, battled a warrior, great athlete, came out victorious, followed the game plan, and it's just, you know, it's, it's one of the best ones in the world, man. It's, it's like sacking a hundred quarterbacks. <laughs> give us a, give us an idea because we're following on social media. But it sounds like yes, you got a UFC contract, but there's a possibility that maybe you'll have some other fights. Explain to us how it's explained to you, kind of what your understanding is of what's going on. Uh, you know, I, do you want me to be honest? I was just real starstruck a second ago, so I'm. I was just like, ah, oh, it's Dana. <laughs> but I mean, what it sounded like was, you know, it's going to be a developmental thing. Um, they're going to build me up, and, and that's how I'm going to get my shot. So. You know, I'm I'm all I'm all for it, all about it. Like I said before, I, I want to earn this, and that's that's my it's a perfect opportunity for me to come go back, perfect my game, and uh, come out and show what I got to give. You know, and as many times as I have to do it, I'm willing to do it. So you're okay with that? You don't feel like slighted at all? That you know, like hey, that wasn't enough to get me in the big show. I want to know. You know, that's awesome, and you know, it's really cool. I worked hard, but at the same time, you know, I got five fights, and it's something that needs to be earned. You know, what I mean, these guys have been, you know, that's. Um, Alonzo's second time on the show, so like, uh, just to, to be honest and realistic and put it in perspective, these guys have worked a lot longer than I have, and they have earned it. You know, I want to do the same thing, you know, because I'm proud. I'm proud of those guys, and I understand. I'm starting to understand the feelings that they're getting and why they're getting them. So, I want to emulate and uh, come back and prove it over and over again, man. This is the best feeling in the world. And, and last thing for me, I mean, uh, watching the reaction online, about half the people were like, "Oh my God, that was amazing. This guy's a stud," and then the other half were. Ah, damn! This guy won. We were hoping he'd lose. You know, we don't. So I gotta ask you, man. How long do you think you know you're gonna have to, to battle that stigma? Because people are gonna point to your past every step along the way. You know, how long do you think you're gonna have to battle that? And is that is that difficult for you that you're gonna have to keep addressing this interview after interview, fight after fight? If you're gonna do all the interviews, no, man. This is I'll address it all day, man. You're really cool. <laughs> but, um, you know what? If I was a genie, man, or if I was a fortune teller, I'd play the lottery instead of fighting or instead of having a job. But I don't know how people are going to react. But I know, and uh, you know, a message to everybody in the world that I'm, I'm willing to go up against it every day of my life to prove that I am a human being. I, am, I have worth, you know, I am willing to earn it, and that I'm an entertainer and I'm one of the best in the world. You know, I keep the fans happy and um, I love them just as much as I love my family. What did you? How did you feel about media when you were an NFL player? I had a whole lot of fun, believe it or not. I don't know if you guys noticed. Uh, it came back to bite me a little bit at the end, but uh, I mean, honestly, th th this is what it's about. You know, this is what it's for—to entertain, to uh, get to know the players, to get to know the fighters, and to be a to be a to be a, um, a, a beacon of hope. You know, a beacon of happiness, a, a time to celebrate, not a. Not what it's kind of turning into, you know, and that's what I honestly have always thought about it as and want to keep thinking about it as and keep pushing towards, you know. The fight itself, are you able to critique it at all? I mean, it's fresh, you haven't watched it, it was only a minute long. Can you can you critique it? Um, again, I'm still in La La Land, man. That was all I, all I remembered was just do what Coach said, stand behind my jab, and bring it, you know, and um, we'll go back to the gym, we'll, we'll break the film down and we'll uh, critique it. I've already asked coach, you know, what I've done wrong, what gaps we need to fill, and that's gonna be my number one thing, just filling holes, filling gaps in my game and making sure that the next time I come out, it's even more flawless and it's even more, it's even more, you know, on, on top, on point, on key, just all fluid and all dangerous. Obviously, you're just getting started, but I had heard that at American Top Team that you've you've done a little bit of work with, with guys like Arlovsky, like like Dos Santos. Yes, I mean, how, how much time have you spent with those guys and, and how do you even, I know you're not comparing yourself to them yet, but, but are you in the same, same world as them yet? Or how would you, how would you I'm characterize that? I'm in the same that? gym as them. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I said. <laughs> we're in the same gym. Um, man, we're talking about pros. You know, we're talking about some of the best in the business, some of the most dangerous men on the planet. It's an honor and a pleasure to be in the gym with them. You know, and that's the reason that I've been able to um, move so fast and adopt, I mean, and, and adapt so fast. Just um, going up against guys of that caliber and having those guys actually teach me and, you know, having Alexi. Olenek show me things on the ground, and Daniel Jolly kind of teach me and correct me, and having um, you know all all those guys. Uh, Arlovsky spar sparring with Arlovsky during for his fights. You know, um, I was in his camp just a little bit for stuff with Steph, for Stephen Struve, and man, it was just it's it's, it's a pleasure, but you know at the same time it, it's, it's, it's invaluable information. You know, you can't get that anywhere else. You're not gonna get that training with Joe Schmo at another gym. So best best team in the world, best fighters in the world. No choice but to be the best. You changed the, your career, NFL to this. 
What was the feeling coming into the, the octagon the first time? Did you have jitters or what, oh, yeah. what was it? Oh yeah, you know, um, I, I have jitters when I step into a football field. You know, I mean, it's a different kind of jitters, of course, but it's just the feel, it's, it's the feeling of you know it's the culmination of your work coming together. It's the time where you got to put it all in, all in the field or all in the octagon, and um, you never know what's gonna happen. And in, in this world, for me right now, it's a uh, it's a little bit m more unsure for me. So I would say uh, the jitters are a little bit uh, more, but. Not too much, though. It's, 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 it's the same as uh, being on the field as far as being a professional athlete goes. You just got to stick to your training. You got to enjoy the time being across from some of the best athletes in the world and go at it, man. And that's, that's a feeling that you can't replace. And you mentioned uh, it was a better feeling than sacking 100 quarterbacks. Yeah. What, 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 is, what is the feeling compared to, you know, being in the NFL? I, it feels good, man. Um, you know, it's, it's just me in there, you know. And, um... It, like I said, it's, all, it's the culmination of your work. It's all about putting in those three a days, putting in those two a days, getting your head bashed in, getting choked out countless times by top ten UFC veterans, and when and when you finally get there and you execute and you put it all together and it's uh, it's what you wanted. It's 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 it's, it's a miracle, man. It's wonderful. It's, it's it's like nothing I've ever felt before. So I'm, I'm enjoying it, man, and I, I want it as many times as I can get it. It's kind of addicting. In your mind, what kind of timeline are you working on? Whenever they're ready, I'm ready. Yeah. Um, I, I come from the NFL, you know, and uh, as we all know, those guys don't wait for anything. It's uh, show up, get her done, and that's that's the kind of athlete I am. That's the, the conditions I've been raised in. So I go back. Uh, I don't think I've actually had more than a couple days or maybe a week at most break from between fights. I go straight back to the gym. What would a successful career be to you? I mean, you're starting late, but you do have, you know, obviously athletic advantages over a lot of guys. So, like, what, what would be in your mind? What would be, be success? Uh, winning belts. That's what it's about. Becoming the best. Um, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to compete. I'm here to become the best athlete in the world. I'm here to put my athletic ability. I'm here to put my talent. I'm here to put my hard work on display. I'm here to entertain and become the best. That's that's my goal. Compared to the NFL, MMA is kind of a, a niche sport growing up. But being in the NFL, which most people I think in the U.S. consider some of the biggest and fittest athletes in the U.S., how would you compare athletes and what you saw in the NFL with guys now that you're seeing in the MMA world? More athletes in the NFL, harder work in the UFC or in the MMA. It's just these guys. These guys are at it all day. You know, um, the tenacity, the the moxie, the. Uh, that these guys have to come with every day to get through practice, not let alone to excel and thrive in situations that are put in, man, is, is unreal. But as far as just athletic ability, man, that's what we do in the NFL. You know, that's that's what we're built for. These guys, custom, basically, they're gold. They're, we're, they're, we're test two babies, man. They're, they're calling us. You know, and it's, it's unreal. I, I really do believe that it's unmatched. But um, honestly, as I move forward, the the MMA game is, is kind of moving towards that. You know, as it's, as it's expanding, Athletes are coming over, and the, the, uh, the MMA guys are actually becoming more athletic. You know, they're training athletically, and it's, it's becoming a, a spectacle.